In this video, we're going to learn how to log data from OPC Data Logger to a SQL Server database. Data Logger can log data to several different kinds of databases and they'll all be similar to this. To start with, I'll show you what I've done in my SQL Server. I've created a table with four columns, one for item ID, one for timestamp, one for value, and one for quality. Okay, so to start with you go to File New, and this opens the project wizard. You can give the project a name here, I'll just stick with the default. On this screen you're being asked to choose a data collector. We haven't created a data collector yet, so I'll go ahead and do that. Clicking that button opens the data collection wizard. We're going to use an OPC data access server, so I'll click next. Here you can change the name of the server, I'm just going to stick with collector. Here you choose where the server resides. Our server is on the same computer, so I'm going to use 127.0.0.1, which means the local machine. And then I pick my server, I'm going to pick top server. And that is the collection wizard. Our collector is configured and it's selected for us here. So now we can add groups, which we do by clicking this Add Items button. Uh, you can change the name of the group. I'm going to leave it as Group. Here you can choose how the items are going to be read from the server. I'm going to use Subscriptions with an interval of two seconds. This means that the server is going to pull the device every two seconds and anytime there's updates it's going to send a message to the data logger and the data logger is going to log those values to my database. I'm going to manually choose some items and go to add, browse for items to add and it browses the server. I'll choose a couple items and as you can see these items have been added to my group now I need to choose where my data is going to be stored to and so I'll use I'll pick this click this button uh, new data storage and here's a list of the different databases you can choose or a text file and I'm going to go with uh, SQL Server uh, this is going to take a couple seconds. Okay, and here you can set up a name for your SQL Server. I'm just going to call it the, the uh, default SQL Server Database Logger. Um, here we're going to choose a presentation format. We haven't created any yet, so I'll do that. Um, my table that I have set up in SQL Server is a detail mode and it has uh, here I can change the name I'll just leave it um, my table has these exact four columns it has a, a tag name a, tag, a value a quality and a timestamp and by leaving this box checked those four attributes will automatically be added to my presentation so the presentation is created and is selected for us here. Now for setting up the SQL Server. Uh, my SQL Server is on the same computer that I'm on, so once again I'm going to use the 127.0.0.1, which means the local computer. And here I'll put in the name of my database. and this is the login that I've set up on my database. Now to get to the next screen you have to test the connection where you're connected successfully to the database and on this screen we choose which table we're going to log to. Uh, my table name was detail table so that's the table I'm going to select here detail table now on this screen we're actually mapping the attributes that we are logging to the columns in the 
database. So here, this is the column name, and this is the attribute name. So for each attribute, we set up a column in the database. So the item ID is going to map to this column name tag item ID and tag timestamp. Timestamp is going to be mapped to tag timestamp. Value is going to be mapped to tag value. And quality is going to be mapped to tag quality. Now, in order to get to the next screen, I have to validate this uh, data logger runs a little check on this setup to make sure that all the attributes are accounted for and all the columns that are that need to be filled in are filled in and everything appears to be okay so I'll click OK and then next and our storage is configured now and since we created storage it's going to automatically be added to the storage list this is all the places where the project is going to store its data so it's going to store this SQL Server database logger and that is it we have configured our database so I'm going to save this configuration and I can test to see if um, it's working. A uh, warning screen pops up with a couple warnings. You just check the boxes as you read the warnings and understand what they're telling you is going about to happen. And you can click OK and the test run box will open up and should be every two seconds or so um, data should be being added to my database and I'll just let it run for a little bit and click stop and if I go back here into my SQL server I should see all the data points that I just logged